John Andrew Snibley, 1889-1958, was a pioneering citrus grower in Florida and Georgia, USA. At his height, his companies were responsible for one-third of the Florida citrus crop. In 1910, at age 21, he moved to Winter Haven, Florida and began working as a fertilizer salesman. A few years later, just before the Florida land boom of the 1920s, Snively bought his first grove. In 1934, he established the Polk Packing Company, which later became Snively Groves Inc. His company was the largest fruit packing and canning company in the United States in the 1930s, which employed over 1,500 people, and was the largest business in Winter Haven at the time. The demand for canned and packaged citrus fruit from the United States and other allied nations greatly exceeded growers' ability to supply the fruit. The allies were willing to purchase all of the canned fruit that could be produced of any quality and at any price. Citrus prices skyrocketed, and Snively Groves Inc. experienced massive growth. During the 1940s, Snively built Magnolia Mansion, a stately New Orleans-style home on the shores of Lake Aloise, on Winter Haven's famous chain of lakes. After World War II, with the wartime market gone, the citrus industry began to experience wild fluctuations in market prices. Organization was needed to stabilize market prices and to create quality control standards. His leadership and organizational skills were instrumental in creating the Florida Citrus Mutual, the most influential citrus industry organization of its time. He remained an active and influential figure in the citrus industry up until his death in 1958. He served on the board of the Tavares and Gulf Railroad and the Winter Haven Exchange National Bank. Later in life, he built several housing subdivisions on some of his grove land, including Inwood and Aloise Woods in Winter Haven. He was also elected to the political position of city commissioner in Winter Haven for three years. Snively was known to be outspoken and gruff in his business dealings, but was also known as a humanitarian. Snively Elementary School, on Snively Avenue, in Winter Haven, Florida is named after him. 